If we look at problem number eight, we're looking at a problem where there's no products. So we have to decide what those products are. And how we're gonna do that is by first determining what kind of reaction are we looking at. If we only have one reactant, we know it's a decomposition. So aluminum oxide is gonna then split into its two pieces, which is aluminum and oxygen. But oxygen is one of the seven diatoms, so we need to put a two next to it. Next, we're gonna go about balancing this. And if we check, we can see we're not balanced because I have two aluminums here and I only have one here. I have three oxygens here and two here. Now the oxygens are gonna be more difficult to balance because we have a three and a two. So our best bet is to get them both to six. So in order to do that, I'm going to put a 2 over here, and for this one, I'm going to put a 3. Okay. That gets them both to 6, and now our aluminum is at 4, so I need to put a 4 over here. Now that we have a balanced equation, we can begin our problem. So if we look at our problem, it says if 2.35 moles of oxygen are produced, how many moles of aluminum are produced? So as we've done before, we need to underline what are we starting with, what's our given, and then what are we trying to get to? We're gonna take our given, which is 2.35 moles of oxygen, and we're gonna put that over one. And then we're gonna multiply this by the required mole ratio. As before, Whatever unit I see up here is going to have to go down here in order for me to be able to cancel it out. So this is going to be moles of oxygen. And then what I'm trying to figure out is moles of aluminum. So I'm going to put moles of aluminum up here. Then I'm going to go back to my equation to figure out what is my mole ratio. So moles of aluminum is 4 and moles of oxygen is three. So now I'm going to cross out like units. I'm gonna multiply 2.35 times four and one times three, and then I'm gonna divide. And what I'm gonna end up getting is 3.13 moles of aluminum. 